The fight for 15 is important for all of us, not just for the fast food workers where it's starting. Why are we even fighting for 15? In our area, we're calling it a fight for a living wage. Everyone deserves a living wage. A living wage is what is acceptable in society, and that's what we should receive as paraprofessionals and teachers. paraprofessional in a middle school. I teach special education. I'm here lobbying for Fight for 15. We're here today to make sure that the legislators understand the importance of raising the wage to $15 because so many of our members are in that place. This would be very helpful to them. Many parents are, are single. Um, parents and they're working two or three jobs. Most of our parents and TAs have two or three jobs. If you're trying to go to school to improve that so you don't have the two or three jobs, you're incurring another debt. Who's left at home when you're just trying to make things a little better? Their younger children are watching their younger brothers and sisters, so you might have 10 and 12 year olds watching two and three year olds, which isn't a safe environment. I just had 21 paras get a raise in January, which sounds great, until you realize they got raised to $9 an hour when minimum wage went up. These are not starting out parents. They've been there for a lot of years. I think the experience is wonderful today. I think we shed a lot of light on who the people are who need this hourly wage and how important it is for them to survive and make it. Having a union stand behind me and help me through all of the things that I have uh, been through this year, so I'm very appreciative of these women that's standing here with me. 